think education is the way that we break glass ceilings. We currently have 71 women enrolled in real estate degree programs at USC. I utilize the Career Center at USC. In-person, face-to-face networking really comes into play too. The biggest risk I took was taking the job that I have now. Um, it was switching sides of the industry. An opportunity came up with this developer and it really you know, sparked my interest. And although I took a lower title and less pay, um, it's really paid off. It took two years out of my career to be home to be with my kids. And it was a huge risk because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to come back. I came back to exactly the, the same point that I had left off, but then I came back with a lot more opportunity for growth. I accepted an, uh, a promotion to executive vice president, so my family and I are actually moving to uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan in the summer. And so they're following me for my career. Took off time uh, when I had my children. Uh, and I think that's one great thing about real estate is it's because it can be so entrepreneurial, you can scale it. That was something that was attractive to me, that I could do my own thing uh, when I choose and, and still have the, the life that I wanted. Have you really tried to get a promotion yet? Or how, and how has that process worked? Be as direct and assertive and confident as you can. Don't ever assume that your boss is, you know, watching all of your little day-to-day -day accomplishments and knows everything that you do. You have to point it out. Present yourself uh, as a leader, act like a leader, and I think that, that the titles will follow. If you want to be a, a working mom, you know, there are some days where you're going to miss some things, but ultimately, like Mercedes said, I think it all balances out. I think it's great to set an example for your kids to say, okay, I can do it, I can be a great mom, I can be a successful career woman. Most of my mentors have been pretty fluid. I've kind of sought after people that I aspired to be like. I think representation of, of women in real estate is really important. You can see that there is a path to it. I think visualizing yourself in that path is really important. Just the industry specific stuff, I'm part of Commerce Industrial Council. It's just a local council in the market that I work in. And you get to know the city officials and leadership in the, in the city and I feel like you know, that's a huge opportunity too for you to kind of spread your wings within your industry. The Urban Land Institute is a national organization with the mission to um, provide leadership in the responsible use of land. And they have an absolutely amazing young leaders program here in Los Angeles particularly. TRIA, the Trojan Real Estate Association within USC is phenomenal. Um, they put on great panels just like this. You never know who you're going to meet um, at any one of these events and groups. I think it really um, provides a, a network of people within the industry. We're the largest owner, of my company, of healthcare real estate, and we only probably control something like 4% of that market. So the opportunities are immense. Uh, the California Assisted Living Association, I'm on that board. Every single year they have two conferences, Northern California, Southern California, and they offer uh, scholarships for students. I just want to be proud of, what, of the work that I do. I want to influence the built environment. I really want to be able to see the, the buildings that we've, we've thought about and designed be built um, and meet some of the tenants, continue to aid the, the process of transforming the city of Los Angeles into a, into a place where individuals of all socioeconomic backgrounds can live together. Be active, be assertive, be confident, ask for what you want. Each one of us has a really happy home life in addition to having really great careers, so I think you have some great examples here of how you actually can have it all.